guys what's up welcome to my video so this video is going to be uh my issues with putting in the shifter cables on a 2006 chevy uh express van so here's the thing about it guys um i'm sure you guys watch other videos besides mine and um these things they did not make these things to make it easy for you guys to change out the shifter cable okay you guys gotta be careful um, basically there is a an e-ring in here you guys were ever to detach it the chance of you guys getting back on is really really rare well it's really really low all right this is gonna be upside down this cable is gonna be turning it every which way and uh, if you guys ever lose that ring like I did or, or or break it you guys can't find that in the store it's not an e-ring you guys can find in the store it's an e-ring specialized for the cable itself crazy all right um, also when you guys install this here's my issue with it when I installed this all right I installed the the uh, I took off I thought it was gonna be a 30 minute job guys all right I took off and it should be if if all things went the way it's supposed to be, the way it's supposed to had gone, uh, basically what you guys want to do is you guys want to put everything, like lock everything in place before you guys snap it in. All right. Now you guys don't want to just snap it in and then put it in place. Uh, reason being is that e that that e ring, it's gonna go all the way in, and when it goes all the way in, when I say go all the way in, I mean it'll go all the way in right it'll bite all the way in instead of just stopping here it'll bite all the way in once it bites all the way in you're not going to be able to get it's going to be too short to actually you know to lock it into to the little connector all right and uh i was absolutely going bonkers for i spent i spent four hours five hours on this going bonkers trying to figure out why it was too short I was, I was thinking maybe it's the, the the wrong cable, but it wasn't the wrong cable. It was correct cable. All right. So what happens is if you guys catch it all the way at the end, it's going to be too short to lock it in. You guys are going to have to take it apart, take the e-ring out, and once you guys take the e-ring out, there's a low chance of you guys putting it back in. Uh, those things break. Those things get, um, you know, uh, it's very very difficult to snap it back in. All right, you're gonna have to get a, these. These, these are pretty much a one-time use thing. When they when they come, they come prepped already. I mean, this thing's out. There's a little cover for this. That that's out. All right. So, what you gotta do is just snap it in, pop pop it, and then let it go. And it's a one-time use thing. If you guys had to like take this apart, you know, um, I'm gonna suggest. If you guys get into the situation where you guys made the mistake of just locking this in too um, too far in, um, you guys, what you guys want to do is you guys want to take this whole entire line out, the upper line and the lower line. All right, you guys gonna have to take that whole entire thing off entirely, and then you, you're gonna, you know, you don't want to do this in the grass where you're gonna lose that lose that ring. Believe me, you can't find it anywhere, okay? This part is like $67, $70. You guys are gonna have to get this whole entire part just to get that the ring replaced. It's crazy, all right? So I'm just helping you guys out. Um, I did some res some YouTube searches. I uh, couldn't find anybody who had, couldn't find too many people who had that issue. I did, I Googled and some people had the issue, couldn't figure out what the problem was, all right? What you guys wanna do is, you guys wanna put everything in place first, lock it in place clamp it in place you know that little clamp that goes on here clamp it in place all right make sure everything is secure and tight last thing to do last thing to do is to snap this in and uh here's the thing about it i think i did it right the first time but i didn't snap it in all the way so the e-ring didn't catch so i thought i made a mistake so what i did was i think i went and took off uh unlocked it unhooked it from from the little thing unlocked it and then I tried putting it in it went all the way in but the only problem is only problem is it was uh, it was too far in the e-ring instead of catching here 
it caught all the way at the end so I I was I was, you know the, the farthest I could go was neutral because of how far it, it was in and uh, I was going crazy trying to figure out what the deal was with that but um, I had to go out get a new cable snapped it in uh, you know put everything in place and then and then snapped it in and it was in the court at the right location um, I don't know why they I don't know why GM I, I think I know why uh, GM does this because they want to make money off of it I mean once it becomes an issue you're gonna have to go for the most part and buy uh, the cables a new cable so that's my that's my video to help you guys out if you guys ever had issues with this all right guys take care